We are at the North Carolina Speedway, otherwise known as The Rock, for the 17th race of Season 1 of the SCRL Wrangler Jeans Bush Grand National Series. The 27 of Cole Nixie will be leading us to the green flag. Stop beside him is the 2 of Chuttle. Of course, if you can see on the right side of your screen, you got times right here. Brandy Cam messed up on the start of this race, so I had to go back and re-record. So don't don't worry, everybody. This qualifying was at random. I just pushed the race button, and who, wherever places where is where you start. So we didn't do qualifying. It's just a stupid bug I hate on Brandy Cam. Rest your starting lineup. This is the first ever time we are racing at this track in this series history. But this will be the 11th time in league history we are racing at this track. One driver has multiple wins at this track. Bulldog 67, he is not here in this field. Dragon Boy is not either. Chuttle, he'll be starting second, trying for a second win. Jonathan Reigns isn't here. White Lion is here. Trey Phelps is not. J.D. Seymour is not. Max Smith is not. Ding Drinker, he is here. And Noah Cars is not here. So we have a good chance of having a first-time winner at this track. Keenan Bush, our points leader, will be starting 16th. Jack Legacy will be starting in the 25th position. And his brother, Al, will be starting 9th. The reason I mentioned the Legacy brothers is because they have dominated this series with four wins combined. And here's a command for the first time at this track. Drivers, start the engines! Oh my god, why does it have to be a southerner that does it? That sounds so wrong. The field is rolling off. First ever time at this track, the North Carolina Speedway. Although known as Rock, looks like no one's having any problems yet. It's a shame Astro doesn't come back to this track. They did the track series for what a year, but we been able to go back. But it lives on in this game and in the hearts of every NASCAR fan that ever watched races here. This track is truly amazing. And it's sad that it'll probably get destroyed one day. But it'll live on in this game and in our memories. Pace car, are we heading in? Cole Nixie has the honor of leading us to the green. And we are racing for the very first time at The Rock in this series. Cole off into turn one. Tuttle dives down to keep second. Cole looking to give the Nixie family their first ever series win at this track. And look at him spinning out back there. And it turns three and four. Tuttle trying to give him a bump and run. Tuttle wants to lead the first lap. But it'll be Cole Nixie leading the first lap. And track, well, in series history at this track. Tuttle dives on in turn one and two. New race leader, the seven car. The all-time race winner with 21 wins. Unofficially 22 because he has one LCQ win, so LCQs don't count. And Trudeau will be the second ever race leader. Here comes Kyle Metz looking to win back-to-back -back races. He just won at South Boston, trying to win, like I said, two races in a row, which only one driver's ever done that. That is Jack Legacy earlier in the season. Continues to hold the race. Oh, we got a caution. Whoa. The 23, the 32, the 9, the 16, 41, 88. And we are racing it back. And they have taken it. Oh, and Fox is stuck on the track. And this is going to lead to a power up. The 4, the 10, the 0, 09, the 62, our points leader, the 21. The 33 is stuck. So is the 4. No, uh, I knew that was going to happen. The 7 of Trudel is our race leader. We'll take a look at the first caution of the day. So this all started in turn 4. Zachary Fitzwater comes up the track into Eli Bright. And Zachary, holding his line, doesn't give up, and he spins out the 0-4 of Eli Bright. Eli with a long slide across the infield. Caution lights are not yet on. But they will be shortly. Eli, a one less season so far in his unsponsored 04 car. Slides past the wall, so he's all right. Well, for now, but he comes back across the track. 
Oh, he hits Jesse Turner. Got a little piece. Then the 24, nowhere to go. The 16, the 88, the 23, the 32, the 0, uh, the 39, excuse me. Wow. Look at the flips Eli Bright is doing. Whoa, my God. Over Riley Sproley tube. Wow, what a view that was. And drivers are stacking up. Tim Randolph, Max Anderson, Brian Fox, Luke Rainey. Now, that was the uh, main cause of the caution. Unfortunately, Brian Fox gets stuck on the track. Which leads to drivers trying to avoid, but it doesn't really work out. They just start stacking up. They run into the back of each other. The 10, the 05, 01, 4, 1, 34, 82, 5, 50. Excuse me. Uh, they just all start stacking up. 4, not, 0, 9, 21. Jesse Turner got involved again. So these drivers, they should have been alright, but they didn't really have time to stop in time. Which is typical of this track. They just slow up and then, boom, they run into the back of each other. Well, this should knock out some people. We'll take it back to the restart. Half a lap away from restarting this race. The 04, the 24, the 16, the 88, the 41, and the 39 are all out of the race. The 23 of Brian Fox is one lap down. He will start on the inside of Chuttle. We're going to get the green with 43 laps to go. Chuttle is our race leader. Kyle Metz is second. Third is Grayson S. Vidu. Fourth, Al Legacy. And fifth is Nick Kennedy. Brian Fox looking to get a lap back. He's got damage, though, so it's going to be interesting to see if he can... Uh, stay up to speed with these drivers. Obviously, he's going to try and get his lap back, but here comes Kyle Metz. Good race lead. Kyle Metz, like I said before, looking to win back-to-back -back races. He'd be the second driver to do that. Following, following uh, Jack Legacy early in the season. Well, yeah, where Jack won at Richmond and then Langley. Kyle Metz, little lap. Here comes Shuttle for the lead, but here comes Nick Kennedy under Shuttle. Contact. Slight contact. Little contact is alright. You just don't want a lot. New race leader, Nick Kennedy. Not for long. Here comes the 63 of James Barker. Not for long. Here comes 37 of Matt Johnson. Nick Kennedy led that lap. Whoa. Contact between Shuttle and Matt Johnson. Here comes the 15, John Allard in the Wrangler jeans. Owned. Well, not owned. Sponsored vehicle. There he is. In second place. John trying to get a win. He's already got an LCQ win. At Flemont. And I don't think he's ever won a sanctioned points pan race. I could be wrong. James Barker. Having a... I guess, I guess you could say an okay season. Not really been memorable for him. Actually, Matt Johnson is last in points. So... That's something you don't want to hear. You're last in anything in racing. There's Joe Jefferson. A winner at Hickory. I'm pretty sure he'll be very happy to head back to Hickory in a couple of uh, events. He actually got some green flag racing. This is awesome. Yay. Let's see where our points leader is. Just for the heck of it. There he is. Keenan Bush has a lot of rear end damage. He is in the 22nd position. Whoa, that's all. Oh, we got, oh, God, we got a car in the wall. No, look out. No. Oh, been a lot of Irvine, got damage. And the caution is out. We are right. Oh, we got another right. Go five. No. Okay, they, they were able to maintain control of their vehicles. Good job, drivers. Battle for the lead. It'll be Matt Johnson leading them to the caution flag. And looks like. We're not going to have any pileups after we get back to the racing. All right. The 37 Matt Johnson is our race leader. We'll take a look at the second caution of the day. Matt Johnson's day goes from good to worse. 
Same thing earlier. Dink Dringer slides up the track into Matt Johnson. And Dink spins out Matt Johnson. Does the same thing that the car did earlier. Eli Bright, of course. But this time, Matt Johnson actually hits the inside wall. Pretty decent impact by that Texas Pete-sponsored vehicle. And just like the 0-4 before, James comes up the track. Ben all over Irvine, nowhere to go. Gets damage right there. Luckily, no one else was involved in this incident. Now, we move further up ahead to the 0-5. There's three wide. They just crowd each other out, basically. Colin Dryberg, the... Is that the 12? Yeah, that's the 12 Kyle Metz. And Alexander just spins a little bit. Loses ground in some positions. But is able to continue on with minor cosmetic damage. And that pretty much sums up the caution as well as the extra little spin we had on the back stretch. And we will take you back to the restart. Look at this. Five wide. Five wide at North Carolina. Wow. Restart time. Half a lap away from restarting this race. The 99 of Benoit Lewis Irvine is out of the race. And so is the 63 of James Barker. Johnson, of course, is our race leader. Brian Fox is still one lap down trying to get it back. Second is John, John Ard. Third, Chuddle. Fourth, Marcus Sanchi. Fifth, Jack Legacy. Oh, no. Sixth, Joe Jefferson. Seventh, Nick Kennedy. Eighth, Todd Kennedy. Ninth, Colin Nixie. And tenth, Zachary Fitzwater. And Al Legacy is in eleventh. So we got the Legacy brothers almost in the top ten. Of course, Jack is in fifth. Reason, reason I say uh-oh is because Jack is always consistent. Looking for his fourth win of the season. Turn one. Chuddo trying to pass Matt Johnson to reclaim the lead. But Matt's fighting hard on the outside. Chuddo fighting low on the inside, of course. And Chuddo, our new race leader in the seven car, unsponsored. Even in an unsponsored vehicle, he can drive the car to victory lane, as he already did earlier in the season at Asheville. He's also got an LCQ win. Uh oh, there's Jack Legacy in the 28 car moving up to third. You got the Jaws theme playing in the background. And, uh, it's just some drivers, they, they just dominate series for some reason. I mean, which is good. Sometimes you got to have, you know, consistency because in real life, sometimes drivers, you know, dominate. Oh, we got a wreck. 23. Oh, 11. Just as Jack is taking the lead, well, taking second, his brother gets spun out. Matt Johnson will lead him to the caution flag once again. Looks like Al is okay. Looks like the 23 is alright too. Looks like we just had a dual spin. Oh, Nick Kennedy just got spun out. What the hell? What was that all about? Well, we're going to take a look at the uh, now three incidences. The 37 car, Matt Johnson, is still our race leader. So the 23 car, Brian Fox, our Darlington winner, just trying to survive. He's got damage. He's running in 34th position. Marcus Sanchi in the 22 car clips the left rear fender and spins out Brian Fox. And Fox into the aisle wall hard. Wow. Oh, geez, got air, too. So, the 22 took out the 23. You can't say uh, the, those damn lap cars like that YouTube series that one guy does. Because Sanchi just out, took them out for really no reason at all. But yeah, And then Al Legacy racing with Josh Barker. Josh just slides up into Al. And Josh... Takes out Al. Wow. Big error by Brian Fox. And then Al spins out, of course. Al had the lesser of the two uh, spins. Now, that wasn't bad enough. We already 
uh, we're racing him back to the caution. Where is he? There he is, Nick Kennedy. Racing with uh, Todd Kennedy. This is going to be even worse. Because this is family members. These are brothers, I believe. Todd. Now, we already took the caution flag. Todd goes up into Nick. And Todd spins out his brother. And into the wall. Huh. I'm not real sure what that was all about. A little fam family dispute there. Maybe it was Todd reminding Nick that, hey, I have a win this season. You don't. So, I'm pretty sure those two drivers are going to have a discussion after the race. And we will take it back to the restart. About to get this race restarted. The 32 car of Max Anderson is out due to a broken header. Uh, he broke the header during the spins. So he is out. Matt Johnson is our race leader. Second is Jack Legacy. Third, Shuttle. Fourth, Nick Kennedy. Fifth, Todd Kennedy. So you got the Kennedy family. Uh, yeah. Behind each other. So, yeah. And there's Brian Fox trying to catch back up to the field. I believe we have a car on pit road. Yes, we do. Josh Barker in the 18th position. Apparently, he's got a problem. Pace car is in. There's Brian Fox. And we're back to racing in North Carolina. Next time by, it'll be halfway. 25 down, 25 to go. Jack Legacy. Trying to go underneath Matt Johnson. Two of Jack Legacy's wins are on short tracks. He only has one win on a speedway track, and that was Bristol Treadle for the race lead. Here comes Treadle. It'll be Treadle leading that lap. The all-time race winner has one championship to his credit. He's way down in points, so he won't win the championship unless he go, goes on like a, whoa, he got a wreck. Five race, one streak or something like that. Cole Nixie just got sent out by John Hard. Oh, back across the track. Oh, God. It's the big, yep, it's the big one. 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 Even at North Carolina, we can have big ones, as we've just seen there. So this will knock out some drivers. 0-5 destroyed. 50 destroyed. 27 got damage. AJ Jones got damage. Probably knock about, what, five people out? Well, that'll help Brian Fox because he'll gain some spots with drivers retiring. Shuttle is our race leader. We'll take a look at the fourth or fifth caution. All right, here's what happened. The 27, Cole Nixie racing John Ard in the 15. Looks like Ard goes up the track into the 27, just like we've seen before. Turns him towards, oh, the wall hard impact by Cole Nixie. Driver scramble trying to avoid. Look at Max Anders. I mean Alexander Rowe swerve. John R tries to come back across the track, which is a bad move. He does so right in front of the 05. So bad choice. And there's our points leader right here, Keenan Bush. He survives. He actually misses it. Up into in front of the track. In front of Luke Randy, he got damage. The 21, Derek Edison got damage. And then it's on from there. Driver's trying to avoid the 10, the 82, the 09, the 14, the 4. Oh, the 33. He barely got clipped. The 22, the 50, the 10, the 11. So a two-car incident turns into basically a 10-car pileup. Man. Let's go on board with uh, Jay Barker. He barely got hit. He, he could have made it, but he just got clipped at the last second. Right there. This has not been a series that the Barker family has enjoyed because they are winless so far after 16 races. And... James got taken out earlier, and now Jay has bad luck. Well, we'll get this big mess cleaned up, and we will take it back to the restart. Half a lap away from restarting this race, we got more drivers out of the race. The 14, the 22, the 50, and the 05. 
So we have 29 drivers left on the lead lap. We got three drivers lap down. Brian Fox, Josh Barker, and Cole Nixie. So we have 26 drivers still on the lead lap. We're going to get the green with 20 laps to go. Chuttle is our race leader. Second is Matt Johnson. Third, Jack Legacy. Fourth, Nick Kennedy. Fifth, Todd Kennedy. Sixth, Joe Jefferson. Seventh, Dick Drinker. Eighth, Colin Dryberg. Ninth, Kyle Metz. And tenth, Grayson Ace Vidu. Where will we be heading next? Back to the Caraway Speedway for the second ever event in that series, which will be an LCQ. And then after that, South Boston, Hickory, then Langley. We are back to racing that rock and, well, North Carolina. The Rock. Shuttle and Matt Johnson pass lap traffic. Jack Legacy tries to pass on the high side, going into turn two, and completes the pass over Brian Fox. No, this doesn't look good. These cars battling right here. All right. Battle for the lead. Matt Johnson reclaims the race lead. So you got two drivers that are deep down in points battling for the race win. Oh, here comes Shuttle again. It's like they're, s they're playing cat and mouse. Oh, God. Oh, look. They're getting close back there. Oh, yep. Zero one got spun out. Is the caution out? Yes, of course the caution is out. Looks like the 21 and 33 got spun out too. So yet another caution. If you wanted more cautions and wrecks in this series because you're so tired of seeing the short tracks, well, you sure have gotten them today. So I hope you're all enjoying that. Well, take a look at the caution again. All right, this all started when the 0-1 Tony Newman racing with Sebastian Torres in the 34. Sebastian comes up the track into Tony Newman, and we all know the formula. They clip bumpers, and Sebastian just, uh, yeah, spins out the 0-1. Uh, Hard impact by Tony Newman. Tony Newman has had a pretty uneventful uh, career in this series. And then you see the 33 and the 21 getting together back there in the back. Then the 2, Luke Rainey, he gets damage right there. And that is pretty much it. And we'll take you back to the restart. And we are back. We're going to get the green with 14 laps to go. No one else is out of the race. We still have 26 cars on the lead lap. And three drivers, one lap down. Shuttle is our race leader. Second is Matt Johnson. Third is Jack Legacy. Fourth, Nick Kennedy. Fifth, Todd Kennedy. Sixth, Grayson S. Vidu. Seventh, Zachary Fitzwater. Eighth, Jay Jefferson. Ninth, Sebastian Torres. And tenth, Dane Drinker. Shuttle looking for his second win of the season, third all time this season, because he won LCQ earlier in the season. Pace cards in. We are back to racing that North Carolina. He got a great jump. Matt Johnson and Jack Legacy goes around out of traffic. So does Nick Kennedy and Todd Kennedy. Oh, they're trying to, still at least. Nick Kennedy does. Todd is stuck on the high side. So Todd will not escape lap traffic. Shadow has just pulled away. 13 laps to go here at The Rock. He's got a pretty good lead, too. There's Jack Legacy trying for his fourth win of the season. As of right now, he's the most dominated. Dominate. Damn it. Dominant. Driver so far this season. Three wins. Twelve laps to go. Shuttle looking for his second one of the season. Matt Johnson. Oh, caution. Looks like the 79. Josh Barker who spun out. We are racing it back. Well, half the field is. Shuttle goes wide, but he's got a lot of distance to do that. And we're going to get the restart with less than 10 laps to go. So no lap down drivers will start on the inside. Which will be very interesting to see what happens. As the field catches back up, we'll take a look and see what brought out the caution. So here's the cause of the caution. Josh Barker trying to survive. One lap down. Racing with Todd Kennedy. Looks like Kyle Metz slides up the track into Todd. And 
The 79 gets spun out. Keenan Bush spins out a little bit back there. You can see him. But Josh gets the big spin. Luckily, all these drivers avoid the 79 car. Or this could have been much bigger. And there's the caution flag waving right there. You can see it on your bottom right screen. And the Barker family continues to struggle in this series. And because of this caution, we're going to have less than 10 laps to go once we get this race restarted. This will be a quickie caution, and we'll take you back to the restart. We are going to get the green with 7 laps to go. No one else is out of the race. Lap down drivers will not start on the inside. Shuttle is our race leader. Second is Matt Johnson. Third, Jack Legacy. Fourth, Nick Lee. Fifth, Ding Drinker. Sixth, Sebastian Torres. Seventh, Joe Jefferson. Eighth, Al Legacy. Ninth, Kaka Silverpaw. And tenth is Aiden Shepard. One car is between ninth and tenth, so the first nine drivers will not have to deal with lap traffic. Can Shuttle hang on for a second win of the season? Can Matt Johnson gain his first in a long time? Can Jack Legacy score his fourth win? Can Nick Kennedy get his first? Can Ding Drinker get his first? We shall see. Pace car is in, hopefully for the final time. And we are racing it. We're back to racing here at the Rock. And Shuttle with a great restart once again. Ding Drinker trying to go for fourth. And he completes the pass. He knows this is the time to go. Jack Legacy going for second. Jack Legacy completes the pass. Here comes Ding Drinker. He wants to join the party. Ding's actually going to go for second. Shuttle is just pulled away from the field. Six laps to go. Dink. Trying to take over second place. He's still trying. And he completes the pass. Shuttle is still our race leader. He goes wide. So does Dink. So does Jack. So does... Matt, so does Nick. There's the 11, Al Legacy, moved up into the top 10 now. Look at Sebastian Torres. His car is destroyed, but he's in the top 10. Wow. Jack trying to get back around. Ding Drinker for second. <clears throat> They're all following Shuttle, though. Time is winding down. Four laps to go. This time by. Jack trying to go under Dink for second. Oh, gives him a little bump. Four laps to go. B3 next time by. If a caution comes out, the race will be over. Remember, no option for a green-white checkered because they didn't have green-white checkers back in 1982. Matt Johnson trying to go for... Oh! Car driver just got spun. This will end the race. Battle for second. Battle for third. Dink's going to try and get around Jack Legacy, but he will not. Jack will get third. Matt Johnson will get second, and Chuddle, unless something happens to his car, he will get his second win of the season. Well, that's a disappointment that the race had to end under caution, but well, at least it was fun. We'll take a look at the race ending caution. Colin Drawberg in the six-car race in the 82, and in Shepard, and the 12, Kyle Metz. Metz slides up the track into Dryberg. That's two veterans right there going uh, for position right there. And Metz spins out Dryberg. So Dryberg, who was in the 13th spot, is going to lose a lot of spots. And he smacks the inside wall. So Dryberg will go from 13th spot to at least 26th. He'll probably be the last driver on the lead, on the lead lap. This is certainly not the season Dryberg has wanted. Winless so far in both LCQ and main event races, I believe, and he was going to have a top possibly 15, and now he's probably not even going to finish in the top 20. Disappointing day for Colin Dryberg, and we'll take you to your results now. Here are your race results. Shuttle scores his second win of the season, second Matt Johnson, third Jack Legacy, fourth Ding Drinker, fifth Joe Jefferson, sixth Nick Kennedy, seventh Todd Kennedy, eighth Zachary Fitzwater, ninth Sebastian Torres, and tenth Al Legacy. Points leader Keenan Bush finished 15th. Colin Dryberg will finish way back in 26th spot. The last car on the lead lap. Brian Fox was a lap down from the very start of the race. He was able to survive and finish 29th. One lap down the last driver. That was one lap down. And everybody out was due to wrecks except for the 32 of Max Anderson who had a broken header.
They're in the second caution, I believe. Hank Willis will be the last driver in this race. Uh, he'll get the last car award for this race. North Carolina. This will be the only race we hold at this track. It was pretty fun. It, disappointing that we had to have a caution in the race, but hopefully you all enjoyed this race. And we'll take you to victory lane if there is one for the second time this season with Shuttle. Here are your point standings after the 17th race of the season at North Carolina. Jack Legacy is our brand new points leader. He has a 30-point lead over Keenan Bush. Third is his brother Al Legacy, 124 points behind. Fourth is Tim Randolph, 158 points behind. And fifth, Evan Rudd, 264 points behind. So once again, right now, we only have four drivers that can mathematically win the championship if it came down to a one-race you know, deal. 6th is Jay Barker, 7th Josh Barker, 8th Nick Kennedy, 9th Zachary Fitzwater, and 10th John Ard. 11th is Smith Regal, 12th Kaka Silverpaul, 13th Luke Granny, 14th Max Anderson, 15th Cole Nixie, 16th Alexander Rowe, 17th Ben Lovett Irvine, 18th Tony Newman, 19th Brian Fox, and 20th Kyle Metz. 21st Hank Willis, 22nd Sebastian Torres, 23rd Kekka Whiteline, 24th Jeff Ard, 25th Joe Jefferson, 26th Eli Bright, 27, Marcus Sanchi, 28th, Jay Jefferson, 29th, Riley Spurley, 2, and 30th, Jesse Turner. 31st, Dylan Therox, 32nd, Thing Drinker, 33rd, Colin Jaberg, 34th, Shuttle, 35th, Todd Kennedy, 36th, Derek Edison, 37th, James Barker, 38th, Aiden Shepard, 39th, AJ Jones, and 40th, Grayson Ace Vidu. 41st, Keith Stevens, and still last in points, Matt Johnson, 969 points behind our points leader, Jack Legacy. So that concludes the first ever race at North Carolina. It was a fun event. We had a good race, except in under caution, and we still got a long way to go in the championship battle. We will see you next at the 18th race of the season where the LCQs will return as we return for the second ever time at Caraway Speedway. And until then, keep the hammer down and we'll see you at the track.